Uh, did you guys watch the last African Cup of Nations? I think, I think one of the best that I watched was the 2019, the 2019 edition, right? Where we reached, was it quarterfinals? What was it? Where did we reach? Round of 16. That is something. At least we rounded off. At least we were in the top 16. You know, I was, I was very happy for, the, for, that, uh, for that edition because we really tried. Uh, and, you know, the players did well. But it's the thing I want to advise you. If you're ever going to watch Ugandan football, or football in general, you get time and listen to the commentary from Gulu FM. <laughs> Your life will never be the same again. <laughs> I have a friend who told me, he said, Ilar, if you're ever going to watch football again, please, you listen to the football commentary on Gulu FM. I said, why? He said, you'll thank me. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you're watching DSTV, right, and you're seeing how the white people do their thing, you know, it, they do a lot of research. I was watching African Cup of Nations on DSTV, and these guys came on, you know. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the African uh, Cup of Nations. Uh, my name is Martin Tyler, and I'm with Jim Begley. The game is about to begin. We got 30,000 fans in uh, the house tonight to witness the best of uh, African football. This is a stadium that has been graced by the best of the best. People like Eto, Didier Drogba, people like Michael Essie have been in this environment. Like, they give you a vibe, then they talk, they start, they talk about the atmosphere alone. The atmosphere is very electric, there's ecstasy all over the player, there's energy. We can feel the vibrations of the claps and cheers. Like, you feel, even if you've never watched football, you're like, hey, okay, okay, it's about to begin. Like, you understand, you understand the vibe that is going on. <laughs> And then they, they leave the stadium, then they start talking about the statistics, you know, they're like Uganda Cranes, you know, in these last three games, they really, really tried, their defensive uh, players are really trying, they got five clean sheets in the last games, but hopefully they can maintain another clean sheet tonight. But of course, in goal, then they go to the players, they start talking about the players like they grew up with them. It's like they know him, like they're obese. <laughs> And of course, in goal, we got Dennis Onyango. Dennis Onyango is uh, the number one, the golden uh, glove uh, that is player of Uganda Cranes. He's the captain tonight. And of course, we know Dennis Onyango is just 38 years old. He was born in 1985. And you know, he was born in, uh, that is, uh, Mulago National Referral Hospital. <laughs> they give you details. About, it's like they know him. He was born, of course, at the National Hospital on the night that he was born. Uh, the doctor said, push. The mother pushed. The doctor said, push. The mother pushed. <laughs> A hand came out, the doctor said he'll be a goalkeeper, like you. They give you details about the player. <laughs> it's like they know him personally. Let me tell you, I reduced the volume of DSTV. I picked my radio. I tuned to Gulu FM. I increased the volume of Gulu FM. First of all, I don't know if these people are like professional commentators. Or they pick a random person in the studio. Like somebody cleaning and they're like, the game has started, just go on. It's like they pick a random person. Because <laughs> these people, they have done no research. Nothing. And the thing about Uganda cranes, they have disappointed us a lot, right? Like we have a lot of hopes. We are very happy. We're like, woo, to gain that room, let's go, let's go. It's our time. Then we end in round of 16. Like they give us a lot of vibe. So I've, I've noticed that commentators, to some extent, they are biased, right? They are tired. They gave up on the team. <laughs> they gave up. The moment I tuned to Gulu FM, you could hear it in their voices. They were like, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome <laughs> to the total African Cup of Nations. <laughs> the game is about to begin. <laughs> we have Uganda current versus NRA. <laughs> the one in yellow is what? Oh, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, sorry. <laughs> technical error, technical error. The game is about to begin. <laughs> he has done no research, he knows one player only. <laughs> one player. <laughs> Consider the thing about these, these people of Sky Sports and, you know, these white guys. The person knows all the players. So when the game is going on, he's able to mention all the names. You know, it's like a wasp with the ball, passes it down to Nyango, what a good bad pass. Uh, sends a lob pass down to Serunkuma. Serunkuma, Emo Kui, takes the ball. Like, they mention every player by name, right? These guys were there. The game is starting. He knows one player. 22 players are in the pitch. He knows one player. But he has to commentate the game successfully. Dennis Onyango with the ball. Onyang. Onyang. 
Onya, he has, he has given it to his friend, the friend of Onyango. He has given it to another friend. The enemy has the ball, the enemy. <laughs> like, who is the enemy? I had the enemy has the ball. <laughs> Football commentators. <laughs> very, very interesting people. Uh, uh. And they're very emotional. Because they're they are talking about their country, so they're very emotional, you know. Because white people, they do this thing where they don't attach emotions. If the game is going wrongly, they talk about what is happening, you know. Then Sonyango passes the ball to Serum Kuma. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. What a very uh, bad pass. But, of course, the game keeps going. Let's hope that it gets better. And they, talk, they keep telling you what is happening. If it is three passes, it is three passes. Serum Kuma sends it to Yunus Sentamu. Sentamu to Emokui, Emokui. What a good dribble. It turns left. They tell you what is happening. Gulu FM. They don't tell you what is happening. They tell you what they expected <laughs> to happen. Because, man, you know what I'm talking about? Like, you're watching football, and there's a striker in the box. You expect the winger to cross the ball, and then he does the opposite. Of course, you get disappointed. These guys are very much like, uh-huh, Dennis Onyango sends it to... Why are you putting here? Can't you see your brother is decide? Eh, this is... I'm tired of this team. I'm tired... <laughs> The man walks away midway. <laughs> midway the commentary. <laughs> Ugandan commentators. And it's worse, it's worse when like a goal, a goal, there's an attempt on goal, right? Because like with white people, they do this thing where they use, they, they use big words, like incredible, amazing, out of this world, extraterrestrial, those words. You, you have learned a new word, eh? Hey. We practiced, we practiced. There is those words, amazing, out of this world. That is a Ballon d'Or pass. You know what I'm talking about. Like, they use those kind of things. You cannot comment at us. They do this thing where all they do is make noise. Like, there's an attempt on goal, and you just hear, ay, 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 And remember, you're on radio, you don't know what's happening. <laughs> you are now building assumptions. Have they broken someone's leg? Is it a red card? Did they shoot the referee with a bullet? What's happening? Like, ah, ah, mm, 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 mm. You are busy there, what has happened? But, ah, <laughs> a minute passes by, you don't know what's happening. <laughs> then you just hear the guy saying, ah, the man was offside. The man was... <laughs> <laughs> You don't know what is happening. 